Hey guys, today we're talking about post-processing our 3D resin prints. I've got out the UV curing chamber and then we're going to clean up the supports after that. Hey guys, what's going on? Michael here. So everybody likes to save a little bit of money and that's what I'm going to be talking about on this week's episode. So we've got a 3D print uh, that we're getting going here. Uh, if you've seen recent episodes, you'll see the trees that I printed up. Well, these are more trees that I'm printing up because I like them so much I want to make more of them. Uh, but what, uh, what I really want to talk about this week is how to save a little bit of money during your post-processing. Now, resin printing can be both an inexpensive and an expensive hobby depending on how you want to look at it. Inexpensive by comparison to buying pre-made miniatures and expensive in that some of the components of doing resin printing can be hundreds of dollars. So it's nice to be able to save a little bit of money if you want to. One of the ways you can do that is by hand post-processing your prints. So for this, I'm going to be using some isopropyl alcohol and a pickling container. This is a resealable container with a mesh back basket on the inside. We'll add some of the alcohol into this and give our resin print a good mixing to make sure that we get all of the liquid resin off of it. Now that our print is cleaned up, it's time to get to the curing part of it. Now you can do this one of two ways. Uh, if you saw one of my earlier videos, you'll recognize this curing box, which is in fact a 3D file that you can print on an FDM printer. And you can use a UV light like you see here to cure your resin prints. Now I recommend having a little solar powered turntable to rotate the print inside of this box just to make sure that the UV light doesn't burn the print in any one area. If you want to go really cheap, you can just take your print outside and let it cure under the sunlight. That's right, the good old sun will do this job for you if you really want to save some money. Now when I am post-processing a print with a UV light, I generally only leave it 4-6 to six minutes. If I'm putting it outside, typically 20 minutes to 30 minutes is a good time frame, depending actually on the color of the resin. Darker resins take longer to cure. As you can see here, we've got an excellently cured print with very little in terms of cost to actually finishing this out. Next step will be to remove the supports and get this painted up for the tabletop. Hey, if you like these videos and want to help me keep making them, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. 